Okay, Lauren, what is going to be our first step? So our first step was to take the Jello out the box and put it in a bowl. Okay. And we're gonna add. Okay. We're gonna add some citric acid, which is gonna give it that nice little sour that the kids like. But it's also gonna be a nice stabilizer to hold our jelly gummies, gummies, blah blah blah. That. And so we're gonna add that in. Okay. And so that's two packs of Jello and about a quarter of a. Wait, two it's about gummies? half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Half a, half a, a teaspoon, teaspoon of, of citric, citric acid. acid. So the thing with the gelatin is that it is not vegan. Okay. okay. Yes. Um, gelatin is made from collagen from animal bones. Okay. So that is something to keep in mind if you have a vegan diet in your household. Um, if you have a vegetarian diet, this should be shouldn't be a, too much of a problem. But that is something that you want to keep in mind. So we have two packets of unflavored gelatin. Okay. And when you use unflavored gelatin, you have to let it bloom. We're going to add a quarter cup for each packet. So that would be a half a cup. Okay. So, so, and then the liquid that we're adding is... I'm spilling. It's all good. <laughs> um, so the liquid that we're adding is, we just made some green tea, some hot green tea. And then um, we added some... Uh, elderberry. We had some elderberry seeds. You're going to want to stir it to make sure is. that all the gelatin kind of get, you, it's going to be a little lumpy in spots or whatever, if but you need a, uh, a whisk is back there. I'm not worried about it because it's going to sit and in about five minutes, it'll, it, it'll be, be like a, a whole jello jelly kind of shake a bloom thing and it's really dark but the only reason why it's really dark is because we have the elderberry and it like took the <laughs> green tea we had and changed it up in so, like 10 seconds so the elderberry is very good like that's what sambacol comes from hey cardi j that's what sambacol comes from is like the elderberry uh flower and seed where it's supposed to be good for lots of things that I can't think of right now, but very, very healthy. Look it up. Google Google is your friend. Google is your friend. And as you can see, even just from when I poured it in, at first, the consistency is now very, like, gelatinous, yeah, sure. <laughs> so to speak. And, yeah, we're just going to let that sit for about five minutes. Okay. We're Kicking it up a notch with a little ginger for the kids, you know what I'm saying? A little shopping, shopping. <laughs> so we're just putting a little bit of ginger in the jello and the only reason why i'm putting it in with the jello is because it's actually dry and so everything in here in the, as we have it already made is dry so okay wonderful okay ret 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 mm -hmm. so we are going to add in i usually just eyeball it about okay. but it's about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of uh, corn syrup, and since we have a double batch, I'm gonna use my other tablespoon and a half to make it again, you know, nice and healthy for the kids. Is to be honey, and I'm just gonna put a little low in the bottle so it's making all those nice, funny noises. <laughs> and then we're gonna let that melt, and we see it's melting, it's melting. Like the Wicked Witch of the West, it's melting. I'm gonna cut the heat down on it. And now that I see that it's nice and melted, I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to add our gelatin. So this is the bloom gelatin that we have going on here. And... It actually smells really good already. It really smells real good. That's the elderberry though. Yeah, like it, it kind of had like a weird smell when we were. But now that we've kind of mixed it with the honey, it right. smells excellent. Smells great. And then you want to just kind of let, you see we had a piece of um, gelatin that didn't bloom. Anymore. Didn't all the way melt down, but have no fear. We're going to come for you little piece of gelatin. We're going to actually. Now what I will say is that when you're doing this, you're going to want to have all your stuff set up. And that means like, when I do it at home, I will most of the time just put everything back into this container, like a glass measuring cup or whatever for pouring. But you're gonna wanna have your molds already out and set because once it gets hot, 
you're gonna wanna, you know, keep the party going, so to speak. Let it be just nice and hot and melty. And as you can see, it's pretty much melted down those little globs. Like we don't have any globs of gelatin anymore. Okay. You can see that? And so now we're gonna slowly begin to add our dry jello and our ginger mixed together. And Carter's choice was a blue and a yellow. So as you can see, we have green, green jello popping off up in here. And why didn't we want to just buy the green jello? Because we didn't want lemon lime flavor. We right. wanted berry and lemon flavor, which was the blue jello and the lemon yellow, which gave us this berry lemon. Lemon berry. Right. It might be the jello you're smelling. And as you can see, we're just gonna keep, we're gonna let it do its thing. Um, you guys go ahead and actually follow me. We will talk about how to turn this up in the homeopathic and holistic sense <laughs> for the adults. You know, you're gonna have to go to that page. This is a family this is, friendly. Hey. This is a family friendly recipe. But listen, if y'all are looking for the uh, turn up, the turn up, I got the turn up. She got the. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you're gonna just let it. We're gonna let this kind of just completely kind of come together. And as you can see, it is very, very green, which is a good thing. And. Um, Looks like poison. It is poison. <laughs> <laughs> Blob. Sorry. And it's, but that lets you know that everything is really well melted. You see, I'm not getting any kind of clumps or anything. It's all thoroughly incorporated. And what's going to turn the game and change the game up is that we have another half cup of the liquid reserved and watch what happens. And we got like, that's all the good stuff in there for real. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get that out. The kids, the kids don't know what's good for them. They don't know what's good for them. Okay. They gonna learn today. Look, they better be glad that we don't, they ain't gotta do like we did. Have just, you know. The nasty. That nasty cherry flavored cough syrup and cough drops and things. Cherry's supposed to be good. Cherry, man, I'm scarred. My whole life, scarred, just scarred, right? Like my face is scarred. <laughs> and so, and now that killed the bubble. And now we are ready to transfer to our molds. My homie came up with a little something out the blue, a little mom special, a little ketchup bottle, which will actually make filling up your molds more accurate. And so we're going to transfer. And, and it's actually was best that we still transfer to the glass measuring cup so that I could actually get it in here. So... And be careful because it is hot. But as you can see, it came all the way up to here. So that's to let you know one of these will hold a double batch. And if you go to Dollar Tree, shout out to Dollar Tree. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, just because it is hot. You go to Dollar Tree, they have two of them in a pack for a dollar. Mm. I got light bulbs. I got this one. Stars. Oh, stars. Okay. We got real gummy bears too. You know what that reminds me of? What does that remind Star you? Star Wars. Oh, yeah. okay. Kirk, are you gonna try to fill up one? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's real hot. So be uh oh. I'm... Well, we tried it. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was gonna be great, but it's still gonna be great. It's, right, it's we just a little it was gonna be easy. It's just a little messy. <laughs> No, be careful because it's going to squirt out, okay? Oh. All right, I got you. Way to go, Carter. Look at you. Go ahead, player. Make it happen. Yay, Carter. Good job, Cardi. You are doing a great job, man. I think Carter's doing better than I am. <laughs> <sighs> so... Neither one of us, of course, have PhD or MD or DO behind our names. <laughs> but 
you can always, um, if you have like liquid supplements, you could always put this in there and you could, instead of giving your kids the, or just eating yourself, like I know they have like those gummies that are supposed to be like, hey, well, Flintstones kids, you could actually make these up and to make them and see where they're already kind of set. And put your own vitamins. And you put your own vitamins, vitamins mix in there. Oh yeah, make your own daily vitamins. And make your own daily gummies. And then of course we have the gummy bear shape, which the kids would love. But and then all kind of other shapes. We have things. plenty of other shapes. Okay, so it's the morning after and we've made our gummies. Here, I'll show you. Look how pretty those are. Lauren's not here anymore. She had to go home. So we just let the gummies sit overnight um, and let them kind of just set. They've set for about uh, 24 hours. I have a mixture here, which is citric acid, a little bit more of the sour that, gum that uh, Lauren was talking about. Um, some cornstarch, was, which is going to help them not stick to each other, and a little bit of sugar. And so I am giving in um, and putting a little bit of sugar to make it taste good for the boys. Um, and it's just white sugar, but you could use sugar in the raw or stevia or any other healthy, you know, sugar that you wanted. Um, so as far as sweets and sugar, we're just coating them in sugar. I did put some honey in there. And then we put two packets of Jello. The lemon was sugar-free Jello, and then just regular, the blueberry was regular blue um, flavored Jello. So it is kind of a sweet treat. It is still, um, even though I tried to make it healthy, it is still a little bit of an indulgence. So I'm just gonna drop all of our gummies in here and um, cover them in the mixture. We've got all kind of fun little shapes like uh, Little candy shapes, pizza, hamburger, stars, um, snowflakes, all of the things that we made yesterday. And I'm just going to actually put the top on it and cover them. And that covers them completely. So what I'm going to do is just lay them on here on the paper here after they've been covered completely so I can get all of them. And that's it. Okay, and here are our gummies. Some of them are covered in the sugar and cornstarch and here are the ones when they came out that I didn't cover in any additional. So I'm just gonna leave them here and wait for the boys. Look, there's our little french fries and see even on the parchment paper you see they're kind of sticking a little bit but they're pretty dry they came out really awesome okay carter and camden are you guys ready to try the gummies yes no okay here Why? they're in there both pick one pick one mm -hmm. nom, 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 nom. what do you think carter no, it's oh. airplane. awesome it's awesome it's you like it airplane. I don't have an airplane one. There's a star. See, that's a star. Try one, Camden. What do you think? Do they taste like regular gummy bear gummies? Mm. No, mm. too sour for normal. Oh, it's too sour? Do you mm. like sour? It's too sour. Camden, you didn't even try it. Try it, kinda. Camden. It's kind of. Camden, my friend, bite it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he what? didn't even lick it. What do you think, Camden? Good. Slow down, Cardi J. <laughs> do you like it? <laughs> Can you say thank you to Miss Lauren? Thank you, Miss Thank you, Miss Lauren. Say thanks for coming over. Thanks, thanks for coming really over. over. And for making us gummies. And thank for making us gummies. gummies. Are they so good? Would you like us to make some more? They're real sour. They're very okay. Well, maybe we won't put so much sour stuff in them next time. Mm -hmm. Camden, what do you think? Next time, let's, Good. let's Good. not put extra of this, of the sour stuff in. Just put sugar. Okay, just sugar? Mm -hmm. Okay. Say, so, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Thank